I'll be showing how to embed apps and sites directly into OneNote and make them interactive. OneNote supports lots of different apps and you can do this in any version of OneNote. I'll be showing things like the Windows 10 app, web, and desktop, but it also works in Mac and iPad as well. Now first off, there's a site that has all the different apps that you can embed into OneNote, and it's right here. This site lists everything. I won't be showing all of them today, but you can bookmark this site and make sure that you have it. And it's also in the link in the description below. The first thing I'll show is YouTube. It's one of the most popular things to embed in OneNote. So here's a video, and I'm just gonna copy the title, go back into OneNote, and I'm just gonna paste the link right here. You can see it immediately renders it. Now there's a thumbnail and I can click play. And I get the full video. Closed captions work. I can pause it, do all the things I normally would do in a video. Now I can also click the three dots here if I wanna size it. So if I wanna drag the lower here, I can make the video a little bit bigger. I can close these things and it's fully interactive. What's also nice is because it's in OneNote, I can do all the other things like annotate, put stickers, whatever I wanna do. So in this case, maybe I wanna do some annotation. I'm gonna draw a little arrow here, uh, pointing to the video. Maybe I wanna insert a sticker. So I can go insert, open up stickers, and then just click one here and move it around. So all the things that I can normally do on my page I can do next to this video in this case. So it's really handy in the way that you can put all the notes and content and context around that interactive embed. Next up, I'm gonna show some of the Microsoft apps that you can embed into OneNote. So I'll go back to the browser here. So I'm on a Word document here. I'm gonna copy the title, I'll go back into OneNote, and I'm just gonna paste that link. And very quickly, you'll see that it renders that Word document. Again, if I wanna size it a little bit bigger, but I can scroll right here. This is the full Word document and it's rendered right in OneNote. And if I wanna get back to that Word document, anytime you paste a link for embeds, there's a link right here. So if I click this, it'll take me right back to the document. And there I am in Word. Let's go to Excel. So here's an Excel file. And I'm just gonna highlight the link here, copy, go back into OneNote, go to my Excel page and paste. And just like with Word, I get the full Excel document, even have the tabs along the bottom so I can switch and go all through Excel. Now let's go to PowerPoint. This one is really handy. So embeddable PowerPoint, I'm gonna copy that, go back over here, render that. And you get that full slide deck. I can navigate it and do all the things that I normally would. So it's really nice to be able to have the PowerPoint embedded right in OneNote. We also support Microsoft Forms. This is a very popular one, especially in education. So I've got my form open here in the browser. Go back into OneNote. And there is the entire form and I can even answer that. So if I go through the form right now, maybe I'm a student, maybe as a teacher, I've distributed this form as a page across all my class. I submit it and that goes right into the form. So distributing content is really popular when you have embedded things in OneNote. Sway is also supported. So we'll go here into Sway, and I have an existing Sway here, all about planets. Copy that link. Now in this case, I'm gonna go into OneNote for the web. So this also works in the web version of OneNote. So I will just paste my Sway link into OneNote for the web, and it immediately will render that right here. And this is the full working version of Sway right here in my web version of OneNote. And we also support Flipgrid. Flipgrid is incredibly popular with educators. And so what I'm gonna go now is a Flipgrid topic. So here's Flipgrid and here's a topic. You can see all these different people have recorded their video responses. If I go to the top and copy that Flipgrid link and we'll go into OneNote for the web, paste that link, and here's that topic right here. And now I can scroll down and maybe I wanna watch one of these videos. So here's a video of my friend Felisa. Hi everyone, my name is Felisa Ford and I'm a digital. So Flipgrid is fully supported and you can navigate different videos and size this. And the last one I'll show from the Microsoft products is stream. So stream videos are very popular. Now right here is a stream video that I have. I'm gonna highlight the link and copy it. Go back into OneNote for the web and paste it. And there's my stream video, easy to play. Hey Lauren, there are so many skills that we develop as educators.
Now we're gonna to go to partner apps. So lots of different third-party apps can integrate with OneNote. First off will be Quizlet. Now Quizlet is a flashcarding app, very popular with students. So here I am on the Quizlet site, and I'm gonna copy the URL at the top. You can see there's some flashcards that they have here that you can embed. In this case, I'm gonna go into Teams and OneNote Class Notebook inside of Teams. I'll paste that link to Quizlet, and immediately it renders that flashcard app. So you can see here, I can go through it and get all the little flashcards that I normally would. I can switch to the front side and back side. So that's integrated right into Quizlet. Now I'm gonna go back into OneNote. In this case, I'm gonna to go to OneNote for desktop just to show that embed works there. Here's my GeoGebra app and you can see here it's interactive. It's a GeoGebra site. So I'm gonna to go to the top and copy that link. Go back into OneNote, paste our link. And there's the GeoGebra interactive embed. Next up is Wakelet. Wakelet is one of my favorite apps. It's great for collections and aggregating information across the web. So let's go into our Wakelet. Here's Wakelet and I've created a OneNote Ninja PD collection, all these pieces of content that I've aggregated into this Wakelet. So I'm gonna copy this Wakelet and go back into OneNote and I'm gonna paste my link and now I can get that entire Wakelet rendered in OneNote. So I'll click here, I'll size it a little bit bigger, I'll engage this, and everything you saw on that site for Wakelet is now embedded right here in OneNote. Now I'm gonna switch back to OneNote for Windows 10. Next up is Buncee, and we're gonna to switch to the site here. Here's Buncee, Buncee is a great app that lets you build all sorts of interactive and engaging content. Here's a little Buncee that was created it's almost like a little interactive story in a book. And they've also integrated the Immersive Reader, which is kind of cool. So if I go up here, get the link, and I'll go back again, paste that link, and immediately you have that Buncee. And all of those elements are available right here inside of OneNote. So it's really nice. Adobe Spark, this is one that we've recently announced, is Adobe Spark Video. So I'm going to go and grab an Adobe Spark Video right here. And again, this is something that can be played. Now I'm gonna grab this and copy. Go back into OneNote. And there's your full video. It's right here inside of OneNote. Fat Simulations is one that we've added recently. This is really cool for physics simulations. I'm gonna go and grab one of my FET simulations here. This is one that's called Balancing Act. It has a little interactive seesaw. So in this case, we'll grab the link and paste it right here. And we'll go to the Balance Lab and we're gonna turn on our seesaw and drag some bricks. Very cool stuff. And so FET works as well. Last few here, Giphy's. Giphy's are a ton of fun. So I'm gonna go grab a Giphy. Here's one, Napoleon Dynamite. This is a great one. Watching him dance. We'll go back into the web in this case and we'll go down and paste our Giphy. And there is Napoleon dancing. That is pretty awesome. Flat.io. Flat.io is a really great app for music teachers or anyone doing music. So in this case, I'm gonna go to Flat.io and they've got full interactive scores. I'm gonna grab a score here and paste it back to show what that looks like. Really nice in the way that it has these scores and you know you can zoom in, zoom out, and do all sorts of things. So Flat.io fully works in OneNote, you can even play it. All right, look at that. Pretty cool stuff. Vimeo, popular types of videos. So I'll grab a Vimeo video here. I'm gonna copy the link. Here's a site on Vimeo. Well, in this case, maybe we'll go back into Teams and we'll create a new page for Vimeo and Teams and paste that. And there is that Vimeo video ready to go. Last up. You've made it to the end of the video, SoundCloud. So SoundCloud does some great music. I've got a very special one for SoundCloud. There was a song that I wrote many years ago called My One and Only OneNote, and it's on SoundCloud. So here's the SoundCloud site. I'm gonna copy that link, go into OneNote and paste it, and it's going to render my song. So let's engage this, give it a little play. 
Hey, 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 my one and only OneNote. If you want to listen to that whole song, go check it out on SoundCloud. So that is a tour of some of my favorite interactive embeds in OneNote. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.